President Takufuado, after relieving Professor Opukua Mankwa of his position as the new Director General of the Ghana Education Service, appointed Dr. Eric Nkansa in his stead. Dr. Nkansa, who was Director in charge of tertiary education at the Education Ministry, is facing stiff opposition from some teacher unions who are not convinced about his competence. The National Association of Graduate Teachers, for instance, has called for the withdrawal of Dr. Nkansa's appointment because, according to them, he does not have professional teacher qualifications. At the 29th conference of the Conference of Directors of Education, the minister, Dr. Yao Aduchum, gave his backing to Dr. Nkansa when he presented the new Director General of GES to the gathering. Now it's my distinct honor to uh, officially introduce to you the acting Director General of Ghana Education Service, <laughs> Dr. Eric Nkansa. Dr. Eric Nkansa is the young man here. He was the Minister of Education lead person for the negotiation of COLA. For everything that we've done in labor negotiation, Dr. Nkansa has been the lead person. So I'm happy that I have somebody that the unions know. Concerns about feeding in schools have become topical in the national discourse. The Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools has been lamenting shortages of food items in some secondary schools across the country. Dr. Yao Aduchum says these shortages are as a result of suppliers demanding cash before supplies, but promise that government is committed to providing healthy and sufficient food in schools. Yes, we've had challenges with food because of the supply chain, because we used to take three months to pay suppliers. And now they are saying, if you don't pay me now, I can't supply because the value of my currency will diminish. So yes, you have to now do cash and carry. Yesterday, I had to release one million, uh, 51 million to buy fast stock, cash, to go and buy and give it to the schools. So it has become cash and carry. Last, the week before, we released 41 million to headmasters to do their perishables. Yes, it has become cash and carry. Credit is no longer acceptable, but it doesn't mean that we are not making the strides that we need to make. Many have called for the review of government's free SHS policy after five years of implementation. The Conference of Directors for Education suggests a reassessment of the free pre tertiary policy under implementation. Not only do directors of education hold the strong view that free pre tertiary education policy must be sustained, but we also owe the responsibility of contributing to the successful sustainability of this desired national goal of free pre tertiary education delivery. However, there are challenges that pose serious threats to its sustainability that needs to be assessed and addressed. Rather, it is an affirmation of the need for us to reassess the free pre tertiary education for effective service delivery. It is our hope that recommendations on best practices and new approaches through the lens of the implementers would be considered and adopted by the ministry to inform policy. One of the major issues that's been discussed at the Conference of Directors of Education is the issue of funding. Um, they say that the capitation grant has not been forthcoming. And now the Minister of Education, Dr. Yawaduchum, has assured them that government is working around the clock to make sure that they provide funding for them to be efficient at their work. For City News, Charles Osukume reporting from the University of Ghana here in Accra.